remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Can you imagine a worldwide flood? Man, they talk about that for centuries. Actually, our fact said's daddy, Shem, Noah's son, lived long enough to tell that story directly to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You'll never catch that reading your Bible, but when you graph it out, it's like, wow, that's unbelievable. Do you know they're still talking about that flood in many cultures around the world? So far, 270 flood legends have been identified in different countries and cultures around the world. The Hawaiians have a legend that says, Long after the death of Kunihana, the first man, the world became a wicked, terrible place to live. There was one good man left. His name was Nu'u. He made a great canoe with a house on it and filled it with animals. The waters came up over all the earth and killed all the people. Only Nu'u and his family were saved. Huh, one family saved in a boat full of animals. Sounds kind of like the Bible story, doesn't it? The Chinese have a legend called the Hiking Classic. They say that Fuhai is the father of their civilization. Fuhai is probably Noah. Okay? The story says, Fuhai, his wife, three sons, and three daughters escaped a great flood. He and his family were the only people alive on earth. After the great flood, they repopulated the world. Interesting. Now, the Mexican, the Tolik Indians in Mexico have a very interesting story. They said, the first world lasted 1,716 years and was destroyed by a flood that covered the highest mountains. One family named Cox Cox survived. 1,716 years. Well, the Bible dates add up to uh, 1656 from the creation to the flood. But that's not bad for a legend 4,000 years old. Question, why would there be nearly 300 flood legends? Uh, I think it's because there was a flood. That's my theory. Okay. Probably the Atlantis legend, everybody's searching for the lost continent of Atlantis. Probably it's another flood legend. As far as the folks on the boat were concerned, the whole world sank beneath the waves. Actually, they were going up. The world wasn't going down. I think Atlantis is another flood story. Anyway.